Hey guys, welcome back to another AQ3D video. We're going to be checking out the newest update. This is just going to be a brief one going over it. I'm not going to be going through the entire quest or anything. So we still have the Epic Sneevels and the other Frostvale related things until the end of January. So only got another week or so before that is all gone make sure to grab what you need from those before they're gone where the heck am i going <laughs> i'm sorry i was going over here so lore master hazel has a new item piece from the cosmic set thing i don't even remember what we're up to now to be honest so this is the full set right here you can see it right there it's a really nice set actually I really like the cape and everything it's very galaxy style very nice so in order to continue it you need to do the next part it explains right here welcome back i think we may be getting closer in our studies of this cosmic being while previously we had found evidence of it working close to the land i have now discovered some local whisperings of a mysterious being sighted among the clouds rubina has let me know of some locations within the green guard area that allows us for higher vantage points anywhere in particular spring in mind so then you have to unravel the clues i'm not going to do that in this video i'm going to put another video dedicated to this entire thing all your pieces will be found in the cosmic remnant shop of course you've also got the cosmic companion which is a pet you could purchase for 1500 dragon crystals and what this will do is you get access to your quest directly which i can show you because i have the pet and the items that you're going to be working towards in this update is the cosmic that, that's really nice i like that the cosmic cloak you've also got the awakened cosmic cloak which has these little things on the side added to not just the back but it's a nice cape though oh, i like it a lot i am assuming it also comes with more dailies that you'd be able to get for the thing as well so you've added right there you get the cosmic cloak and there might be another one added if you have the cosmic pet you are able to use it like i said for the different things so it comes in really really handy i believe once you have the quest started from this thing then that also appears in there okay well it doesn't seem to but when i complete the quest i'm pretty sure i can turn it in with my pet because i know i did do that in the past as well but you can also farm using those so it's a little bit easier having the pet on hand I am going to give you a heads up, this quest does require some parkour, so if you absolutely suck at parkour like me, then you might want to find a friend or somebody in that map that's good at parkour who can scale it and then you can just jump to them using the summon code. Now not everybody knows how to use summon codes, so I'll mention that it is in your friends list section right there and then you can just go type in your friend's code to go right to them of course if they're in your friends list you can just jump right to them using the thing just click and then go to as long as their go to's are on this also works from the guild thing as well so i mean you could also do it from there jump to the person I want to give you guys a heads up, the new intro zone with a challenge and special reward will be coming soon. Now it doesn't say next week, but it's possible. It is also housing, as I have mentioned in previous videos, is currently testable on the PTR. I'm going to be making another video regarding housing as well. So you can go and check that out if you do have the PTR. Also, there is a class currently in testing on the PTR as well, which should be coming within the next couple months but that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging